Jesus. You know, so if you got, you got a heart for Jesus, just shout out Jesus. Spirit, if you're born again, then you're walking in the same power and authority that Jesus walked in. There was a person she hadn't forgiven. She worked through that forgiveness, and she felt so much better. And then one of the prayer ministers said, so how's your foot? And she says, oh, it's healed. <laughs> right, so if you're constantly walking in fear, I'm just going to tell you, he, d he is not happy with that. He does not want you walking in fear. And if that's you, just raise your hand. He wants to break that off. For to one is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit, and to another the word of knowledge. So you have everything you need to set that person free when you humble yourself under the Holy Spirit's anointing. Jesus stood up, and he says this, right? And he says, I am anointed. You should say that over yourself. You should claim that for yourself. Important. This tells me if you're not filled with the Holy Spirit, you're not truly prepared to preach and minister the gospel. So how many understand the Holy Spirit will give you the perfect thing to say? Because the enemy is very subtle, right? He's very tricky, very crafted. And um, if you listen to him long enough, those people will talk you out of the power of God.